No, God, please, no, 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 no! Here we go. Let's get busy. Okay, the first step was unpacking and assembling the QCW waste board. It was pretty straightforward with the exception. Uh, with the Elite Foreman, the outer two T-Tracks are not like all the other QCW T-Tracks. Uh, they're shaped different and I couldn't find anything online uh, to show how those are supposed to be oriented, but uh, I didn't film everything because I was <laughs> I got distracted uh, looking for that information. But anyway, hopefully by the time you watch this video, they will have updated the uh, information online, and it'll be a much more straightforward process. Got all the editing, eh? That's my least favorite part. But I'm into it, though. So far. <laughs> well, look on the back. Oh, yeah, cool. That yeah. needs to be your test cut. I'm literally doing watching <laughs> Yeah, it was. It's not like 
Did you see where that went? Floor oh, it was right there. Thing. There it is. The blooper reel. What Ben's doing now is removing the bolts that were pre-installed at the factory. Uh, these will be used to hold the stepper motor in place. That's twice in a row, Marty. What is wrong? What am I doing wrong? You're doing it backwards. It goes like this. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but look how I handled that bolt right there. Pro. All right. All right, we're on the X side. So we have X2, and this wire is X2. We got four pins and four pins, so we'll plug that one in. Till it clicks. This little one has three pins. These are the homing sensors. We click in there. Then on this side, we have Z2 and Z2. So we'll click that in like that. And that's the X to the Y's. Okay. All right, we're at the Z. We're gonna plug the Z3 into Z3. It's the eight pin connector there, three pin connector here. And then we use this top plate to go in through here onto the top. Tight fit. And then these bolts will hold it down onto the stiffy. All right, once That's we there. got that in there, we get those bolts there. Now we don't have our spindle or router installed, so we're gonna take this plate back off to run that when we do it later. So I'm just gonna loosely attach these with a four millimeter. That gets our top plate. 
All right, for this screen holder, you have two shorter bolts and two longer bolts. The longer bolts are gonna go on the right side. And they're gonna go through over here. Because without those, then the machine won't home right. And the shorter bolts will go on this side. And it will attach over here without the need for any nuts. And the right side will need a nut over here to have stick out like that. the screen mount thing. Take this bottom screw with washer off. Put that through there. The washer goes on the bolt and it goes up through the bottom to lock this thing in place. And then we're ready to mount the Masso screen. I usually have it out this way. Not bad. Figured out on my own. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. No, I didn't. Over. Damn. <laughs> Good. Now flip it around. Oh, fuck. <laughs> hey. hey. We will not use any of that on it. You got. You got one more over here. Oh, this is God. different. Your egg. So on the other end of the wires, we're gonna have white ones like this. These are all power and they go into the power supply down here. Does not matter which one they go in, they're all the same. They're just providing power to the motor, that's it. The other end is Y. This is Y1 and you see Y1 right there. So we're gonna plug that in to there. And then we're gonna take the sensor wire that's right next to it, plug that one in. So that's Y, we'll move on to B. B is the actual other Y wire, so we're gonna take the power supply, again, another white connector, we're just gonna plug that in there. And then we're gonna take the other end, cause it's super long, and drag that all the way over. Again, we're B1 to B1. So we're gonna plug that in right there, and plug the sensor wire in here. One thing we're gonna do is take this off yeah. and we're gonna move the sensor wire to come out over here because it'll be away from the cutting area. So we're taking this off and we're gonna go ahead and look underneath on the back. It can go out either way. So we're gonna move it out the other side and put it down. And now it's coming out away from the cutting area, which is ideal. All right, this is the Z1 wire. And on the side here, we have Z1. So we're gonna plug in to Z1, Z1 to Z1. Power wire is going down in the power supply. And then the last one we haven't connected is X1. So X1 to X1 on the side here. And then we have the power for that one. And we have one last wire that is on the end. It's not labeled, but I think they label as A. Here, and that is the power for the screen. And it's gonna be the only power plug we have down here that would fit. And the last thing we have is a power right here, and that is unused unless you have a rotary. Mm -hmm. So these little clip things go on to the wires and hold them onto the QCW, keep that front rail. Go. It's Christmas.
Hey. It's alive! It's alive! We did it, we're ready. Yay.